In this video, we will solve this particular problem right here using the rung cutter method. This method is very methodical. And so let's get started. So we say k1, comma, 1, comma, 0. We have a set of coupled equations. And so that's why we will write it in this notation, where 1 represents that this is the first k. This one right here represents the first equation. And the 0 represents that x is equal to 0 right here. And so this right here will equal f1 parentheses x 0 comma y 0. And so next we will do k1 comma 2 comma 0. So the first k for equation 2 where x is equal to 0. So this will be f2 parentheses x 0 comma y 0. Next, we will have k1, comma, 3, comma, 0. This will equal f3, so parentheses, x0, comma, y0. And now we need to insert it to our actual equations. So for the first one, this one right here, the value of x is 0. So I put 0 in the equation, 0 times y1. What is the value of y1 when x is equal to 0? And that's going to be 1. So times 1 times what is the value of y2 when x is equal to 0? That is also 1. So times 1 divided by 2 times y3. 2 times y3. y3 is also 1. And so this right here would equal 0. Next, we'll do this one. Same exact idea. So x is 0. So we have 0 squared plus 2 parentheses 1 squared plus 3 parentheses 1 squared plus 4 parentheses 1 squared. I'm just using this formula right here. We said that y1 was 1 when x is equal to 0. Likewise, y2 and y3 into this equation right here. This would equal 9. Next, we'll do the third one. So we have y1 times y2. So we have y1 times y2, which is also 1 times 1, plus y1 times y3, 1 times 1, plus y2 times y3, 1 times 1, times x. x is 0, so times 0, and we would get 0 here. Next, we will get x, y1, y2, y3. This is not the answer yet. We need to do something like this three more times. So x is equal to the initial value was 0 plus what is our step size? 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and we divide by 0. This is like a rule. And this would give us 0 0.05. Next, we do y1 y1 is equal to the initial value was 1. So we say 1 plus 0 0.1, our step size, times k1, comma 1, comma 0, this value right here. So times this k value. So times 0 divided by 2. And we would also get 1. Next, we do y2. Same exact idea. So the value of y2 was 1. So 1 plus. So we get 0 0.1, the step size, times what was the value of k? k corresponded to 9. So times 9 divided by 2, and we would get 1.45. Next, y3. This will equal, so initial value is 1. 1 plus, so we have 0.1, the step size, times the k value. k value was 0 times 0 divided by 2 and we would get one again. Now using this information here, we will continue this cycle solving K2 and then K3, and then finally we will do K4, and then we will get the answer. And I'll show you what I mean. So next we will do K2 comma one comma zero. So the second time we're doing K, uh, the one represents the first equation and the zero represent that the initial value 4x was 0. And so this is going to equal, we will use this equation. We can also do k2, comma 2, comma 0 for this equation. 
And finally, we will do k3, comma, 2, comma, 0 for the third equation. So same exact idea. So what is the value of x? The value of x now is 0 0.05. So we write that 0 0.05 times um, what is the value of y1, which is 1. Next, what is the value of y2, which was 1.45, 1.45. Now we divide by 2 times y3, y3 is 1, so 2 times 1, and we would get 0 0.0363. Next, we'll do the second equation. Just for more space, I'm going to do it over here. So x squared, then we just plug in the numbers. So we would get 0 0.05 squared plus uh, 2 times y1, which is 1 squared plus 3 times uh, y2, which is 1.45, which is squared, plus 4 times y3, which is 1 squared, and we would get 12.31. Finally, the third equation. So we would do same idea, 1 times 1.45 plus 1 times 1 plus 1.45 times 1 times x. x is uh, 0 0.05. And we would get uh, 0 0.195. Next we get the value of x, y1, y2, y3 for the second time. So next we will get x, y1, y2, y3 for the second time. We will need to continue this process two more times, but for the final round, it's a slightly different formula. So let's do it. So x is equal to, the initial value was 0 plus, so we have 0 0.1, the step size, divided by 2. And this is going to give us 0 0.05. The value of x won't change. Next, y1. y1 will equal the initial value for y was 1 plus 0 0.1, the step size, times k2, comma, 1, comma, 0. So this value of k. So we get 0 0.0363 divided by 2 and we would get 1.002 this is an important note this number right here won't change from the initial value so initially we got one we will continue to have that the only thing that will change is the value of k so in the first process we had k1 comma 1 comma 0 now i'm doing k2 comma 1 comma 0 to get a different number this here is the same the step size is the same divided by 2 is the same likewise for x is the same idea. So for x, we're not multiplying by k, and so that's why it doesn't change. Next, we will do y2, and that's going to equal 1 plus, so we have 0 0.1, the step size, times k, which is 12.31, divided by 2, and so we get 1.616. Finally, y3, this is going to be 1 plus 0 0.1 times times 0 0.195, 0 0.195, divided by 2, and we would get 1.01. Next, we will get k3, comma, 1, comma, 0, the third k. Uh, this is the first equation, and the initial value of x was 0. And then we will do k3, comma, 2, comma, 0. Finally, k3, comma, 3, comma, 0. And this right here was the original equations. So this is going to equal, so we use this equation right here. So the value of x was 0 0.05 times uh, the value of y1 was 1.002 times the value of y2, which was uh, 1.616 divided by 2y3, so two parentheses, one point zero one and so we would get zero point zero four zero one likewise we do the second equation so zero point zero five squared plus two times one point zero zero two squared plus three times one point six one six 
squared plus four times 1.01 .01 squared, and we would get 13.93. Finally, this one, um, 1.002 times 1.616 plus 1.002 times 1.01 plus 1.616 times 1.01 .01 close parentheses times 0 0.05 and we would get 0 0.2132. Now this is where things slightly change. The value of x, y1, y2, and y3 will be different. And I'll show you what I mean. The formula is x is equal to the initial value, which was zero, plus the step size, which was 0 0.1. And that's it. It's gonna be 0 0.1 for x. Next, y1, which is also different. It's gonna be the initial value of y, which was one, plus the step size, 0 0.1, times the value of k, which was 0 0.0401. So times 0 0.0401, we would get 1.00401. Next, y2, which will be 1 plus 0 0.1 times the k value, which was 13.93. And this is gonna give us 2.393. Finally, y3 which will be 1 plus 0 0.1 times 0 0.2132. And so we would get 1.021. And now we get to get k one more time and get to get y one more time to get the final answer. So let's do that. So we get k 4 comma 1 comma 0, k 4 comma 2 comma 0, Finally, k four comma three comma zero, and this will equal, and so we would use this equation here. We would get zero point one times y one, which is this number here, one point zero zero four zero one, times y two, which is going to be two point three nine three, divided by y three, which is one point zero two one, and we would get one point two two one. Now we will do K2, essentially. This is gonna be 0 0.1 uh, squared plus two times Y1, which is 1.00401 squared plus three times Y2, which is 2.393 squared plus four times 1.021 squared, and we would get 23.375 finally k4 comma 3 comma 0 same exact idea use this equation here so we would get 1.00401 times 2.393 plus uh, 1.00401 times y3 which is 1.021 plus y2 which is 2.393 times y3 we have 1.021 times x which is 0 0.1 and we would get 0 0.5871 so now we can actually get the value of y so y1 comma 1 is equal to y1 comma 0 plus the step size which was 0 0.1 parentheses times k1 plus 2 times k2 plus 2 times k3 plus k4 uh, this whole thing right here divided by 6 this would be the equation so for y1 comma 1 we would get so the initial value of y1 when x is equal to 0 was 1 so this is going to be 1 here plus 0 0.1 and now we go back on what we wrote down for the k values and we simply write it down here. So it was zero plus two times 0 0.0363 plus two times 0 0.0401 plus 1.221. Um, this part right here divided by six. So the value of y1 when x is equal to 0 0.1 
would be 1.023. So we can say when x is equal to 0 0.1. This is one answer. We need to do the exact same thing for y2 and y3. Now we will do y2 comma 1. So y2 comma 1 is equal to, so the initial value was 1 plus step size, which was 0 0.1 times k1 was 9 plus 2 times k2. So 2 times 12.31 plus 2 times k3, which was 13.93 plus 23.375 close parentheses, this part right here, divided by 6, and we would get 2.414. This is going to be y2. Again, when x is equal to 0 0.1, we can box in this answer here. Finally, we will do y3, and that's going to be the initial value was 1 plus 0 0.1. So we would have k1 was 0 plus 2 times k2. So 2 times 0 0.195 plus 2 times k3. So 2 times 0 0.2132 plus k4, which was 0 0.5871. And this whole part right here divided by 6. And so we would get y3 is equal to 1.023 when x is equal to 0 0.1. And that's all we need to do for this problem.